The last time I cut my hair was back in June 2020, so it's been exactly two years since I've had a haircut. During this time, I've adopted a natural hair care routine that works to help nourish my hair, promoting soft, shiny, healthy hair while helping to prevent split ends from forming. This is my all natural hair care routine that I follow. Hello everyone, so I thought I'd share my all natural hair care routine that I've recently adopted to help repair the ends of my hair because I've been growing it out. As you can see, it's getting really long from when I last shared when I cut my hair, which was probably last year during quarantine. Well, as you guys can see, I have something very new to share with you. I have actually just cut my hair, so it was actually really long before I've been growing it out for two long years and I finally decided to get it cut the other day because all the ends of it were starting to become more split and dead so I cut a lot of it off and it's so healthy now <gasps> I love it I am growing it out again though that is something that I really want to do but I've decided not to be so lazy with cutting my hair so I'm going to cut it every six months to ensure that the ends don't become dead again so it's been a while um, and it's actually started growing really long and I'm just so happy about it but since I've started swim teaching and I'm getting in the chlorine most days, it's just killing the end of my hair. Like it's really drying it out. It's even got like knots that I'm just like struggling to get rid of. And I'm getting sort of split ends, which I'm like, I really don't want to get because it just makes your hair look a little bit ratty when they get out of control. So I've started adopting this natural hair care routine and I'm going to show you guys over a month or a few months how it goes on my hair, see if there's any improvement. I'm hoping so. <laughs> um, and I'll share with the products that I use, that I use for my all natural hair care routine. So the first thing I use is a Thick Bars. I use the St. Clements one. I mean, it's, it just smells really lovely. It's for oily hair. It is just a solid shampoo bar. And I'll keep that in a little container. And whenever I go to work or if I'm swimming out in the ocean I'll bring that with me and I have like a shower it's just so handy because I have it on like just on hand so I love it that's why I love shampoo bars as well because they're plastic free which is originally why I switched to them and this one I found works really well like I've tried other shampoo bars in the past and I find they leave some of them leave like a clay like residue on my hair and it just doesn't, doesn't wash it my hair as well whereas this one actually does such a good job and the ingredients are really quite clean and it was highly recommended by Ethical Kate if you follow her on Instagram that's how I found out about them but I totally highly recommend too if you are looking for a shampoo bar that you want that really works Ethic is your go-to I'll still try not to wash it too often because if the more you wash it sort of the more the hair tries to replace the oil that's been stripped so I'm trying to kind of keep it in balance not washing it too often but just like when, you know, when it needs it, when it needs it really. So that's the first thing that I do. The second thing that I use is a conditioner and I've only just recently added this to my routine. I will actually be showing you guys how I make that today because I don't have any at the moment with me. I've just recently bought the emulsifying wax that is needed for the recipe because you are combining like oils um, and like moisture turn it kind of together so it helps with emuls emulsifying that and combining it so it doesn't separate so I found this just online I got the olive oil one but you don't have to there was a palm oil one I just try and stay away from palm oil as much as possible even if it's certified sustainable palm oil I find it's just still taking up land and rainforests that could be used for other things like rainforest so I just tend to stay away from it anyway but if everyone's eat, like choice like everyone has their own opinion of it so I got this olive oil one and then the third thing that I do is in between washing my hair I'll do some coconut oil hair masks and I'll just put that all the way through and I feel like that's also helped with the hair growth oh it's just been incredible like I, my hair hasn't grown this fast this quickly 
I can't since I can remember really, so it's amazing. Um, <coughs> sorry, I have a bit of a cold, <laughs> hence my raspy voice. So yeah, that's what I do is my third thing, and I'll put all the way through my hair, and I'll tend to leave it on. You only need to leave it for 30 minutes to like an hour or so, but I'll tend to leave the coconut oil hair mask in. I'll do it in the morning and then leave it in all day just to like let it have the super moisturizing super deep hydrating effects so yeah that is my routine so I'll kind of walk you through it and hopefully in a month or two I'll share when <laughs> my hair will look a little bit healthier so I'll show you the before this is the before from a distance it seems okay I'll do a little close-up to show the ends which is what we're all really looking at really <laughs> The ends are looking a little bit mm. And I'll be back again to show you the after of my hopefully hair transformation. So I've brought up my coconut oil. This is my giant jar of coconut oil. I refill it when I need to at the bulk food store. So I can just keep reusing the same jar. So I usually do this on the days I'm going to wash my hair, so I, just before. So I'm going to wash my hair today because it's like a little bit oily, so I can't want it cleaned. I'll just pop this in. I try and sort of melt the coconut oil with my hands before rubbing it through my hair. Otherwise you get clumps of just coconut oil in your hair, so that's not nice. So in summer it's a lot easier because coconut oil is already liquidy. Um, but this is, we're going into winter, it's really cold, so I've got to try to melt it beforehand. That'll do. And then I sort of start with my scalp. So I sort of massage it through. Bring it all the way to the roots and sort of work it all the way down to the length of my hair. And you do get bits of hair stuck to you. Joy. So it is a bit messy, but the results are good. Your hair is all hydrated, less split ends, less frizz. It's a good, good thing. And then once I've finished rubbing all the coconut through my hair, I grab my comb and then I just brush it through to make sure that all the strands are coated in it. So none of it's under my hair, none of my luscious locks have been missed. Otherwise you get like patches where it just hasn't sort of coated. This helps especially for the ends of my hair. I always find that it's very challenging to sort of coat them in the oil, oil, all of them anyway. So this sort of just helps get to the ends of the hair a bit better. And that's it. It's super easy. And then I just leave this in for three hours minimum, but usually I just leave it in most of the day and I'll just wash my hair in the evening. It does take a couple of washes to kind of get rid of all the oil because it is quite like strong. I put like a lot of oil in. So I find that after about two, like, washes with my shampoo bar it's gone it's great and then my hair is all hydrated it's wonderful so i usually do this mask probably one or two times a week yeah i love it because it makes my hair smell of coconut so it just reminds me of the tropics so much it's awesome oh, it smells amazing i love coconut my hair care routine goes as follows after leaving the hair mask in for the day i'll begin washing my hair using the shampoo bar I scrub my hair once through and really try and remove as much of the oil as I can in the first wash, then I'll rinse my hair. I'll follow up with a second wash through to remove any remaining oil residue and rinse again. If I haven't done a coconut oil hair mask that day, I'll only need to wash my hair once. After washing my hair with shampoo, I'll add in the conditioner. I use about a small handful of the conditioner for my long hair and rub that through the ends of my hair. I'll then comb it through to make sure each hair strand has been coated in the conditioner and then I'll leave it in for a couple of minutes before rinsing it out under the water. Now this conditioner is actually a leave-in conditioner that uses all natural ingredients to promote soft, shiny, healthy hair and repair split ends. On days when my hair is looking particularly dry, I'll only wash my hair with a shampoo bar and after gently towel drying my hair to remove the excess water after my shower, then I'll apply my conditioner only to the ends of my hair, not the roots or my scalp, and just gently comb that through with my fingers or a comb, again avoiding my scalp. 
This just helps to moisturize my dry hair naturally and leave it more silky, soft and shiny. The reason why conditioner is really important when it comes to hair care is it helps to replenish hair of its natural oils after the shampoo has stripped these oils away during the cleaning process. To make this conditioner, in a heat proof glass bowl, add in 1 teaspoon of jojoba oil, 1 teaspoon of argan oil or castor oil, 1 teaspoon of vegetable glycerin and 3 teaspoons of emulsifying wax. Then place the bowl on top of a saucepan filled with water to make a double boiler and bring the water to a boil. Stir the mixture occasionally until completely melted, then remove the bowl from heat and stir in a quarter cup of distilled or boiled filtered water or you can use peppermint or tea tree hydrosol. Once the mixture is warm and no longer hot, stir in half a teaspoon of vitamin E oil and 20 to 40 drops of essential oils if you're using. Stir together until the mixture has cooled to room temperature, then transfer the conditioner to a pump bottle and store in a cool, dry place out of sunlight and away from excess heat. To increase the shelf life of the conditioner, you can keep it in the fridge. So, <laughs> it's been a month and this is what my hair looks like. If you can sort of see from that distance. It is definitely not like frizzy, which I'm so happy about. Now, <laughs> I did do a coconut oil hair mask yesterday, so I didn't quite get all the coconut oil out, hence why it <laughs> looks still a little bit like strawy. You can still see a bit of the oil <laughs> residue sitting in there, so I will have to wash it again tonight. But overall, <laughs> it's so, I feel like it's so much more hydrated since starting this proper actual routine like I've been consistent with my coconut oil hair masks every week I at least do one a week which really makes such a difference because I leave it in all day and <laughs> it just transforms my hair it starts off just really dry like so much like just breakage it just looks frizzy and then by the end of the day I'm like ah it's hydrated again oh it's so, that's probably a huge thing that I've noticed um the ends <laughs> Do definitely probably need a cut soon because again I haven't cut my hair in like two years. Just like a trim. But otherwise, I feel like I can get by. Like it doesn't look uh, like frizzy or uh, it's like with like a lot of split ends showing. It looks actually okay, which I'm really happy about. That's the main thing of this whole hair care routine is to like have hair that actually looks healthy and not like with a full of split ends, frizzy, dry, just have breakage happening everywhere. So I feel like that's really good. So that is pretty much the end of today's video. Do let me know if you try out the hair conditioner recipe that I share or if you use the Ethic shampoo bars yourself as well and let me know what you think of them. I love them so much. They've honestly been such a good find in terms of shampoo. Like I honestly... Oh, I'm obsessed. I love them so much. They make hair washing so easy. It saves me having to make my own. And I love how they come in compostable packaging, which means I can just compost it in my bin and there's no waste. Like there's no plastic packaging, which is amazing. <sighs> yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. If you guys try out the hair mask, the shampoo bar, hair conditioner, I'd love to hear it. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this video. It really does mean so much to me. And I do try and get to each and every comment. And again, if I don't get around to responding, I do try and like and show that I have seen it. And so appreciate your comments and messages. It really just, oh, it makes my day and really inspires me to keep doing these videos to see that you guys enjoy them. Yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Bye.